Hey everyone, so a short video, but something that I do get asked a lot about, and that is my hair. Um, it's looking rather dry now. I have actually just um, been in the bath, but I just dampened it in the bath, so I just put my head back in the water. I don't wash my hair every single day, as you know. With curly hair, it needs as much moisture as possible, and it is looking rather dry. Um, but that is because I've sort of wrapped it up in a towel and left it. However, how I keep my hair nourished and looking lovely is by using products and the products and that I'm going to use is basically me doing my hair on camera. So I've done my makeup as you can see, um, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video of all of my Makeup Revolution lip products and I'm going to try and make it as snappy as possible um, as well as this one because hopefully, fingers crossed, we may have a I do my girlfriend's makeup video coming up. So. Just watch out for that. I say that quietly. She's not even here at the moment. But if I'm good and if I do things nicely for her today, we may be watching in the future a I do my makeup uh, girlfriend's makeup video. And that is going to be really exciting because she's never wanted to be on YouTube. However, I think I'm drawing her in. So if you're excited to meet my partner, I say girlfriend, she's my fiance, but if you're excited about that, as excited as I am, then keep watching. We may be in for a surprise. Anyway, to cut this video, it's quite short really. Um, I want to talk about the products I'm using at the moment. They're not, uh, two of them are my all time holy grail hair products at the moment. I haven't found anything better. Um, they often get rid of things and it really is upsetting for girls with curly hair like me they often decide to just cut the curl range and you're like seriously I need that in my life um, I used to love Tony and Guy products that they used to do, do you remember in the kind of silver can with a red writing Tony and Guy not TG Tony and Guy and they used to sell them in boots the best curl spray the best curl cream got rid of them what a joke so gutted anyway without further ado. So the product I'm going to use first is a product I bought from Creighton's in a bargain buy shop. It was a pound and it is the Curls Hold and Moisture Activator Cream. It comes out looking like actual cream um, that you would maybe put on your pudding, which um, I quite like. It's quite a thin con uh, texture. The scent smells like baby lotion, which is really nice. Um, and I put that all through my hair first. I try to get my hair covered in it. Now I was using, and it actually is very similar to, the PS Love one by Primark. Very, very similar product. How I do it is I get all my hair and I just literally just run my hands over it. I usually like my hair to be a bit wetter, but it doesn't matter if it is or isn't, as long as it's got some dampness to it. Now my hair, as you can see, looks really long right now, but during the next few videos, you'll see it will get probably shorter and bigger because that's what curls do. <laughs> So the other thing is a Frizz No More Curl Instant Curls Revitalizing Spray. Now what I wanted out of these when I bought them was for them to replace the next two products, but actually they're like another step. Now I'll just show you this. It is actually a cream product in a spray bottle. So I'm just wondering if it's the same thing, watered down so you can spray it. So I'm just gonna spray that in my hair, just liberally, just scrunching it into my hair as we go along. And we'll, uh, I haven't got any groovy editing for for this sort of video, unfortunately. So you're gonna have to put up with me putting for real time videos. That's what we're doing. Um, let me just finish. I like to think if my hair feels a bit damp, uh, a, a bit dry, I'll put this product in those areas where I think it's a bit dry. So what this does, hopefully, is give it a bit of moisture. Not it's got no hold to it whatsoever. It does not hold my hair, but it does give it moisture. Um, I don't know if they're curl friendly, there's a method called the curly girl method, don't know whether they are friendly in that sense, but they work for my hair, just absolutely fine. So, my number one curl spray, it's a smooth waves taming spray, it's curl defining spray by Charles Worthington, it's always in my empties, it is a fantastic spray and I feel like they're going to get rid of it and if they do I'll be so upset. But this is my number one curl spray, I love the way it dispenses, you've got this sort of spray bottle. Um, and it, you don't have to hold it very close to your hair. Now, I put lots on my hair. I, <coughs> that's never happened before, but I liberally, because I don't usually talk, spray this in my hair. So my hair is almost damp with it, wet. 
You can see how much I'm putting on. You probably think it's quite a lot. What I like about this is it's quite a fine spray. So even though I feel like I've used a lot, this bottle will last me about two months. So that's not bad. May even may even be three months. Um, so yeah, love this. Really good. There's 200 mils in the bottle and it works really well. So my hair is now super damp with the spray. And finally, just to add that little bit of hold for my curls, I use this. Now, I have a huge issue. This has been discontinued. And I bought this from poundshop.com. It's out of stock now. And it was a pound each. And they used to sell it in boots. I may have to go and they might have it on the shelf still, but they certainly do not have it online. So I'm going to use this. And I use, I'll show you how much I use. Just look. I mean, that is quite a lot of product. And I put it over my hands like this. Still quite a lot of product, but I have quite a lot of hair. So with that curl spray, I've dampened the hair and this is locking that moisturizer, moisture in. Um, now, it's so easy with curly hair to style it because all you do is wet it and then run your hands around it throw it a few times, put some curls into it by using the products, scrunching. I sort of, it. my hair's probably got lots of knots and you can see there, there's like a really big knotty patch there, but I don't brush my hair. And because my hair's curly, what it does is it gives it volume. That is a really big knot actually, it's quite dry. What I should be doing is moisturizing and conditioning that out. Um, and I did recently do my hair, you just heard it rip then. Um, it doesn't hurt me to do that, but it's probably not the best thing to do for my hair. Um, in fact, I'll just show you the aftermath. Can you see all of, let's put my hand up, all of that. That's just fallen out of my hair now. Oh, it's so grim. Oh, so I lose probably about a extra person's head of hair um, per week but it still seems to be quite large. So I've been letting my hair grow. I want my hair to be extra long. For the wedding, I want it to be about this long, but dry, as in this is how long I want it to be when it's dry, not, I don't want it to be dry. I just want it to look, uh, to look this long once all the products sort of gone into it. I know it looks like the most haphazard way to do hair and I'm pulling it about and I'm messing it about but, um, you know, that's just the way my hair works. And it's taken me 30 odd years to get it to this stage where I'm really happy with the outcome of it. it it's hard to explain. But um, yeah, now this sort of looks like a loose perm right now. But as you know, as it dries, it will get bigger and shorter and um, a lot more curly. What's really weird is it looks quite frizzy right now, but weirdly, once it dries, it goes curly like spiral curls. You will see that if you continue to watch my videos later today. You'll see me in the same top, so I'll show you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions about the products that I use, how much they are, where you can get them, uh, like I say, some of them you can't get anymore. If you've got any suggestions for curl creams, there is a Boots one, which I can use. It makes your hair a little bit crispy, but um, it's not too bad. Um, but if there's any questions or suggestions, please comment down below as usual. Also, give it a thumbs up if you have curly hair and you, um, you know, don't know how to manage it as much and you've been dying to find out what, you know, what I use or what to do. And if you haven't subscribed, please do go and do that. I really appreciate it. I've just shot up actually recently and I think that's because I've had a couple of people mention me and their favourites which is really lovely so thank you so much to those guys Mama Fulzo and Katie Beach mentioned me in their August favourites and I honestly really appreciate it so yeah I will speak to you all soon and I look forward to seeing you in my next one thanks